Hi everyone, so I'm very excited to be sharing this video with you guys because as you can see this is entirely an Adventure Time resin update and I showed the mold that I got and used for this um, update on my surprise vlogs channel so if you haven't noticed I'm moving a lot of my hauls and my package openings to that channel so you should definitely check it out if you haven't already but basically I'm just going to show you piece by piece all of the pieces that I made um, for the Adventure Time resin charms and at the end I'm actually also going to show some little Doctor Who charms that I made also resin pieces so I'm gonna get started so I'm just gonna reiterate that the mold is from Rockstar Hottie and I'm gonna put her store envy down below she is an amazing seller her name is Akiko and um, I got this mold I think like four weeks ago so about a month ago and I started using it it took me about four days to really complete these pieces and um, this is including the pouring the resin waiting for it to dry painting it glazing it and all that stuff so the first resin piece that I have to show you is the Lumpy Space Princess and I might be saying this incorrectly but just um, a disclaimer, I've never really watched Adventure Time. I've watched a few episodes because my roommate and my brother both like it a lot but other than that I'm really not too familiar with the character's background. So what I did with this was I mixed purple and white resin to make it opaque and then painted on the details later on. For this, the main color was white, that was the base color, and then I painted on the blue, the red, and the yellow and white, and um, I kind of put some highlights and some shadows there to give it more definition, and this one is the Ice King. He looks a little evil, but that's how the mold was. Then I made BMO, and this is pretty much what it looks like. I mixed some blue, yellow, and white for the base color, and then painted on the details again. Here is Marceline, and the primary base color I used was black, but I did have to add some white. For some reason, my black Casting Craft resin pigment was a little like oily, and I wasn't sure if that was normal, um, so maybe I'll have to buy another one of those, but this is Marceline. The next piece I have is Lemon Grabs, I think, and I gotta tell you, this is one of the creepiest resin pieces, I think, or characters of Adventure Time. I've never seen him in the show, and because I kind of, I didn't add white, so as you can see, this is a little more translucent than the other ones, like the other ones you can see the color a little better, so that's why white, I feel, is very important. It makes it a little bit more opaque, um, so I did add some yellow paint near the nose and the eyes so you could see it a little better. So this is Lemon Grabs, and uh... I only used yellow pigment for the base. Then I made Finn and Jake, and for Finn, I used a white base and then painted on the features as well. And uh, for Jake, I actually mixed some yellow, red, and white to get his skin color, which I think he was the most difficult to find the colors for, just because he's an off yellow kind of color. And this is what they look like. This one has to be my favorite, and I am very sad to see this go because I'm actually sending all of these resin pieces to someone. But this is the Fire Princess, and I did add some highlights in the corners of her hair. If you can see that, I did add some like more fire colors to her hair to give it a little more definition. And then I added some white paint for highlights, and um, I glazed all of the top with Jira Clear. And last but not least, I made Princess Bubblegum, and this is what she looks like, and I'm not sure if this was supposed to be the back of the hair, maybe I shouldn't have painted it pink, because that looks like she has a very thick neck, but this is what she looks like, and if you guys haven't realized already, this, all of these resin pieces will be going to Lily or Cool Rice Bunnies, and she is a very good friend of mine. Like I said about putting fish cakes, Lily is also one of my closest and best friends here on YouTube and in real life, so um, if you also notice, some of these resin pieces, they in the mold, they already have pre-made eyes and mouths. I kind of prefer that they didn't have this because then I could paint on my own face and mouth. And I think I like this better than that. But overall, it's not a big deal. So as you can see with these pieces, they've had these pre-made eyes and mouths. And um, this one as well. And it's not a bad thing. It's just, I guess, I prefer to make my features a little smaller. So I know that one of the questions I'm going to get is how much resin I use, and as you can see these pieces are very large, so um, I did use a hefty amount of resin. I would like to say I used about <clears throat> maybe um, mixing all of the resin together, I would say about 6 to 8 ounces of resin. Um, I'm not, I mean that's not 
a correct estimate, I suppose, but I did use a lot. I'm pretty proud of how all of these pieces came out, and these will be listed on my store Envy, but as kind of like a pre-order. So what that would mean is once you pay, it would take me about three to four days to actually make it and send it out to you guys, since I am sending this entire set to someone already. I am going to put Rockstar Hotties store Envy down below, and I hope you guys enjoy this resin update. This was so, so much fun to make, and Actually, I think this video is pretty long now, so I'm probably going to put my Doctor Who resin pieces in another video. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye!